saying like y'all just seen by the fuel prices, it seems like they're inching up little by little. I keep on asking myself, is this profitable? Should I keep on doing this? Mm. We're gonna talk some numbers going down the road. Let's ride. I wanna welcome y'all back to the channel. And for anybody new, my name is DJ. This is my 2005 Freightliner Century right here. I owned it for about two years now. Got the 14 liter Detroit in it. Ain't nothing but a money picker. It run pretty good. Any work that's been done on it been done by me or my buddy stay up in Devil Day Shop. It's a pretty good running truck. Well, work got slow for me in the beginning of the year, just like everybody else. And I parked the truck. I got on with Dart Express traveling with them. Even though I wasn't really traveling, I spent a lot of time in Greenville, South Carolina. I love Greenville, South Carolina. I want to go to Greenville, South Carolina. But my wife got a big, made a big step in her career, so I had to put that on hold. Anyway, so I parked the truck and did that for a couple months. Really enjoyed it. Before I came back home and found something full time. See, it's just a DOT man on there. I see you, buddy. Anyways, when I came back home, I found a full time job here. My wife wanted me to be at home more, even though I ain't want to be at home more. But I found me a job here. It's about an 80 dollars $85,000 a year job. It is a touch freight job. I will say that. On average, I work about six and a half to seven hours a day. You know, during the week, I probably work 35 hours, 36 hours. So what I don't like about it is sometimes I have to deal with Atlanta traffic and sometimes they'll call, call me up. I have to get up out of bed at four, five, six o'clock in the morning to go run around with somebody. I don't like that. But overall, it's a pretty good job. Well, since I don't work that much over there, what kind of trucking job you can find full time only working 35 hours a week and still make eight or eighty five thousand dollars a year. There ain't many of them out there, at least out of my area. But that allows me to run this truck. Instead of letting it sit, I said, hey, I might as well run, get sick and I get one or two loads a week. My goal was actually one load. But, you know, I can do two real easy and still be within my DOT limit for the week. Why let it sit? Now the race over here where I'm at, we might talk about them, but the race over there where I'm at, if I had to run this truck without working that job over there, I wouldn't run this truck. Because actually some of that money over there I've subsidized me running this truck if something was to happen to it. Because the race over here is not the best, I will tell you that. But at the same time, the money I make off this truck, I'm able to put it back. Because I'm actually able to live off my full-time job paycheck. So the money I make over here is a plus. You know. Sometimes I don't feel like coming down this road. I just go home. I might want to cut grass for the day. I might want to work on my, my, my Mustang for that day. I might want to go hang out in my dad's shop for the day. You know, so this right here is just pure optional. Now recently what I have noticed is they've been offering me more loads. And I can't lie. It have came to my mind like, hey, want to start running this truck full time and so if I get that job it comes to my mind because I like I enjoy my freedom but I know how this container business is it can be good one week and the next week nah you can barely work barely find any work so I'm just gonna stick to doing this for a little while but the rates are not good we got fuel going up again I want to see if they're going to take the fuel surcharge up over here. That's just something I'm interested in. I mean, I think, I want to say two weeks ago, I think I was paying like 330 something. And they 
as you see, and I think it was 389. What I just paid at the same gas station within two weeks. Fuel had rose that much, 50 some cents. But it's crazy, so we're gonna see. We'll talk about race a little later on. Matter of fact, I'll probably tell y'all what I'm getting to go. I'm actually headed down here to Savannah and we're headed back up to Home Depot and Local Throw McDonald. I think I did this load two times in a row. I don't know how I put that last video out. But um I tell you what that load pays and what I can do with it in the field. But let's keep on trucking, get down, get on down into the yard, pick up this box and see if we make some kind of money. Gotta be rough out here for somebody who got a big payment and the truck keep breaking down and on them and in and out the shop. Can't hardly find no good paying loads. It got to be rough. So that's the reason I try to stay over there. I'm try to stay on this full time job for a little while, at least next year. Hope the stuff get better and keep on living and keep on trucking, baby. Let's get on down this road. Gonna get up at 137. I'm doing this. I just don't feel like going through the way station today. Not that I have anything against the Department of Public Safety. I just want to ride a little back roads today. Oh, nothing that way, nothing that way. Today might be the day I get pulled in for inspection. Plus, I'm not in no hurry to get back up this road. Today is the first day for my boys. Today is the first day back in school for my boys, so I ain't gonna say I'm, I ain't got no reason to go home, but I'm not in no rush to get back to the house, you know? So, just gonna ride these back roads a little bit. Sometimes I like riding back roads. Sometimes I roll down the windows, turn the AC off, just ride you know it's a pretty day out today if I had to guess the temperature I would say right now it's probably in the mid 80s so sometimes I like turning off the AC and letting down both windows and just and just ride you know so that's what I'm about to do but you know more confident to go through the scale house now than I was say probably two months ago before before I started with CK. I knew I had little knickknack stuff wrong or you know air leaks oil leaks you know little leaks that I know I needed fixing you know I even had a chamber leaking one time I'm still running a little bit I heard it leaking just a little bit you know I knew that was, they would automatically shut me down for it but you know Sometimes us as truckers, we run stuff. We just say forget it and get away with it until we get caught. But I'm confident in this truck right now. I try to stay on top of stuff for it. But let's get on down this road. We're about to turn into the dust field. Man, these y'all gonna make me change my air filter every damn month. All this dust coming through. Damn, I ain't been down here forever. On the bank up. Where can I park? Where can I park? I had thought about taking this bad boy in the port, but sometimes you just don't feel like it. And today I do not feel like it. I tell you the truth. Ready to get that box to head back up 16 before any craziness happen down here. I believe it or not, craziness happened down here in Savannah often. And I'm more like what I believe is a lot of people get their CDLs. And you know, when I got mine, I went over the road, I learned a lot of stuff that you can't learn. Well, you can learn locally, but you gotta make mistakes. A 
a lot of people get their CDL and don't want to park on him. Don't want to learn. They just want to hop straight into. Just want to hop straight into um, something that can be as wild as these containers can be.
way station, when the way station gave me the bypass and everybody else was going in, it kind of scared me because they're just like, damn, I'm the last, I'm the last truck and they bypassing me. So I know my camera caught up that the sign said, that the sign told me to bypass, so I said if a DOT come after me, I got video evidence that show that it bypassed me. I don't know how that worked, you know, but I didn't want them to come and I didn't want them to come and give me a nice little ticket, a nice little citation. But this is the way I'm going to go to Locust Grove. Yes, sir. This is Highway 16, exit 205 in Jackson. This is the way I'm going to go to Home Depot. I don't feel like dealing with that traffic up off of 155, exit 216. I like coming this way. If you keep on going straight, you'll go to Griffin. But if you make this right turn, like I'm about to make up here, you'll be right here by the Dollar General Warehouse for anybody who know the area. I just like going the back way up here to Home Depot. Got 155 full of trucks. And it could be real clouded up at times, so I don't feel like dealing with that.
get out of work because every, everywhere is busy. It is 3.35 right now, so I know a lot of people getting out of work. Ninety-seven. That's it. That tri-axle trailer right there. Man, I got a horrible story about when I first started with them the first time. One of these, one of these tri-axles, and having to go out the port two to three times to get my box. Oh, this mother effer right here going straight to the yard. I don't want no problems with it. They can have it. Well. It's always good to do a pre-trip on your trailers because you could, bam, come across one of these bad boys. Now, whoever dropped this trailer either didn't do a post-trip or they just didn't give a damn. I don't know which one it is, but hopefully they got another empty for me up here. Well, I'd be damned if DJ finna wait up here on it. So let me make a call and tell them about that tire. And I will get back with you guys. This is why you always do a post-trip or a pre-trip for that matter. 
I came back here and checked it. Oh, I'm missing the light as well. This is the trailer they wanted me to get. This is the trailer they wanted me to get. And then, she called out this number. But we're missing the mud flap. I don't want no part of it. So I told her about those two issues. I told her about those two issues. So she's working on finding me a empty right now, even though I see two or three of them up here. But she said she was gonna find one. Hey, I just found something. Oh. Oh hell, I thought I had five minutes of free grease. It's empty though. So anyways, we waiting on her to text me back. We're gonna hook up and go on and get the hell up out of here. So let's see what she got for me. Cause it's hot, I'm ready to go home.